Good morning, everyone. I hope all of you are well. Uh, today, before starting my lesson, I just want to make few things clear uh, that this week I'm taking as a revision week, and all uh, the chapters that is done so far, I have tried to uh, gather all the material on these slides. And what you have to do, you have to uh, go through your books as well. And I have given all the references, page numbers, so things become more clear and easy for you. So, uh, for example, just see from chapter 24 till 28 is done uh, in the classes, and uh, because uh, most of the more than half of the syllabus is done by the previous teacher, so I tried uh, to collect it everything accordingly. So from 24 to 28, it's done, and that is on page 678 to 802. Uh, then uh, you can see that uh, this week like I will every in every class I will pick up two or three lessons and uh, chapters and different lessons so that we can just pick up more main main important things and we can revise them together but after I finish you also need to see your books for more details so today I'm taking chapter 24 uh, to revise nationalist revolution sweep the west and uh, then i'm taking chapter 12 uh, 25 the industrial revolution so we will do both uh, together and what i will do i, I have uh, collected few terms uh, and the main idea in the in the lesson so uh, let's begin like first uh, lesson i took like uh, latin american people's win independence so in this lesson you have uh, learned learn you have uh, learned how Latin American countries became independent and you have also identified details about Latin American independence movement and few terms I would like to uh, revise like peninsular here you see peninsular what is peninsular it's a uh, Latin Americans who born in Spain then we have uh, here Creole okay what is Creole it's a Spanish born in Latin American so you you can uh, you can revise them like what is when you heard uh, a term peninsular you should know what does it mean Carol what does it mean then we have mulatto it's a person name uh, a person of mixed European and African ancestry and then uh, here is the name of a person Simon Bolivar who was Simon Bolivar he was a leader of Venezuelan independence movement then we have uh, Jose de San Martin. Uh, it's a Spanish or I think French name. Jose de San Martin. He was a leader and he helped win independence for Chile and Argentina. Then we have uh, another uh, name that is Megol Hadilog. Megol Hadilog. He was a priest who began the revolt against Spanish rule in Mexico. And at the end, from this chapter I chose uh, chose Maria Merol's here is also a name of a leader of the Maxima, uh, Mexican revolt after Hadi Logo was defeated the next lesson I choose was Europe Europe face faces revolutions and in this lesson uh, you learn about revolutions in Europe and also analyze the outcomes of the revolutions in Europe and here a few terms like uh, what is uh, what do you mean by conservative when you hear this word conservative conservative means a person who supported the monarchy in this like according to in world history when uh, in american history when you hear uh, or sorry in history whenever you listen or read this word conservative then it means a person who support the supported the monarchy liberal liberal is a person who wanted to give more power to elected legislature like legislatures like people of congress then we have uh, anarchism anarchism is basically a belief that government is harmful and not needed it's a belief of few people who 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 thinks that government is harmful and it's not there is should do, uh, there is no need of any kind of government then we have nationalism it is also a belief and it's a belief that a person loyalty belongs to the nation itself instead of the nation's ruler then we have national then we have nation state nation state means a country with its own independent government then it's the name of a region balkans balkans is a region including all or part of present day greece albania bulgaria romania turkey all this region is known as 
Balkan and then Alexander ruler of Russia who freed the Serbs okay then next lesson I chose is uh, nationalism in this lesson you have learned about nationalism and what were the major events in the unification of uh, Italy and Germany all uh, all of these topics were discussed in detail in this lesson so few of the terms like Russification here so what is Russification it is a policy of forcing Russian culture on ethnic groups in the Russian Empire then we have another name that is Camillo the Cover Camillo the Cover he is a name uh, he, he was uh, a prime minister unified northern Italy then there is another name of uh, a leader Gesip Garibaldi Gesip Gari Baladi, it's the name of a leader of the, he was a leader of the Red Shirts movement who won control over parts of the southern Italy. Then uh, what is Junker? Junker is basically wealthy German landholders and uh, Otto von Bismarck. Otto von Bismarck is also a name of a leader who worked to expand Prussia. And uh, in, at the end we have Kasser, he was an uh, emperor. Next lesson is the beginning of industrialization and it is uh, I think chapter 25. So in this lesson you read about the beginning of industrial revolutions and also learned or discussed about the important events in uh, Britain industrialization. And then we should know a few terms about when you read a word industrial revolution. What is industrial revolution? It is a like it's a great increase in machine production that begin in England in the 18th century. Then we have crop rotation. What is crop rotation? It's a method like planting a different crop in the same field each year to allow the soil to regenerate. It's a system. And then what is industrialization by the way? It's a process of developing machine production of goods. Then you uh, read another term factors of production. What, what, are, what are the factors of production? They are the conditions which are needed to produce goods and services. Then a very popular term entrepreneur Entrepreneur means a person who organizes, manages, and, ta uh, and takes on the official risk of business uh, enterprise. At the end, we have a name, and that name is Henry Bessemer. Henry Bessemer, he was a British engineer who developed a way to mass production steel cheaply. Next lesson is industrialization spread. Uh, industrialization spread. In this lesson, you see how industrialization spread to other nations and also uh, learned about the industrialization in the United States, in Europe and around the world. So first term uh, is mass production. What What is mass production? But basically, it is a system of manufacturing large quantities of identical items. Then you will read another term like interchangeable parts. Uh, what are interchangeable parts? These are the machine parts that are identical and manufactured by the machine then uh, you will uh, read a term assembly line assembly line is basically like each worker does one step of a manufacturing process division of labor division of labor means different workers doing individual and different tasks then specialization very easy separation of tasks and the economic interdependence is like it's a people in a society relying on other people this is called economic interdependence at the end we have another term corporation what does the mean of corporation um, corporation means a business that is owned by a stockholder and who share in its profit but are not responsible for its debt uh, debts okay so a, per, a, a corporation mean a business owned by a stockholder he shares who shares in its profits but he is not responsible for its debts and uh, then we have reforming the industrial world in this lesson you 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 learned about uh, new ideas and reforms of industrialization and also uh, uh, you learn about the characteristics of capitalism and socialism so here uh, at the beginning we have a name that is Adam Smith who was Adam Smith he was a philosopher who defended uh, who defended laissez-faire laissez economics laissez-faire economics then another term is capitalism capitalism is it's a economic system in which people invest money to make a profit and then we have uh, utilitarian here 
Tarnism. Jutli Tarnism. Uh, it's a belief that an idea is only as good as it is useful. So if the idea is not useful, then it's not Jutli Tarnism. Then we have uh, socialism. Socialism is a, also it is also a belief. I think it's not Utli, it's a Utali, uh, Utali Tarnism. You just check its pronunciation one more time on Google. I think I'm making it wrong. I'm saying wrong. It's Utali uh, Tarnism. Utali Tarnism. You just check it on Google one more time. Okay, then we have Karl Marx. Uh, he was a economic thinker and he wrote about a radical form of socialism. Uh, then we have Communism. What is communism? It's a form of uh, socialism in which all production is owned by the people. Then very easy term, union. You must have read this uh, or heard this term often. Union means an organized group of workers that bargain with the business owners to get better pay and working condition. And then strike. Again, very easy strike means organized refusal to work. What, they, what I did at the end that I collected, I picked up few questions uh, from each lesson, uh, but these are not the only uh, questions you are supposed to learn. There are much more than that, so you have to uh, see through your books and you also see the assessments at the end of each chapter. So few questions I just uh, collected for you, but the rest you will also do. Like what classes existed in Latin American society, What uh, what where in Latin America was independent first declared, uh, what forces uh, and people struggled for power. These all things you need to think and you, ha you have to find their answers. How did Alexander to change Russia? What unites people and create a strong national feeling? Why did nationalism divide, divide empires? You should know these things. How was Germany united? You should know uh, the whole process uh, or if there was any kind of movement. What was the result of the defeat of France and, and the unit, uniting of Germany? How did industrialization begin in the United States? How did both the go government and workers themselves try to improve workers' life? How did the Industrial Revolution begin? How are the ideas of capitalism and socialism different? And at the end, what invention helped change business? So here, uh, the last thing, the most important, the first, they don't let this be you plan ahead and then uh, the final task for you is for today is to prepare assessment of chapter 24 and 25 and you will find it on page uh, 678 to 714 so what you have to do you have to read uh, the main things from your chapters and mark them or use a highlighter and then at the end uh, try to answer all those questions I gave and the rest you find in the assessment at the end of your chapter so meantime, take care of yourself. See you again.